Um, I was with the General Artist Corporation, an agency, and they uh, they asked me if I wanted to do a, a series. Erwin, Erwin Allen, who was a uh, one of their clients, was producing this series called Swiss Family Robinson. They said, do you oh, want to do this? One. I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, I've been a detective and I've been a cowboy. I don't want to be a, you know, some freak up in space. <laughs> Thank you. And my agent said, well, listen, he said, uh, Irwin's doing this. They're going to take about 20 days to shoot the pilot. It's the most expensive pilot that's ever been made for television, which it was at the time. And uh, they said, he said, just do it. It'll never sell. It's just a pilot. And no one will ever see you in it. Jeez. We promise you that. Ladies and gentlemen, today the first of what may be as many as 10 million families per year is setting out on its epic voyage into man's newest frontier for colonization, deep space. Heading the expedition will be Dr. John Robinson, professor of astrophysics at the University of Stellar Dynamics. Their assistant, Dr. Donald West. Electromagnetic miracles are now coming to play. This cosmic glow, induced by the genius of advanced technology, will freeze the Robinson family into a state of suspended animation, enabling them to make a lifetime flight while aging but a second in the time of man. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! I didn't like doing the series when I was doing it particularly, you know. Uh, it was all right. I just had higher hopes for myself at the time as an actor, you know. Maybe I was, you know, asking for too much. But uh, as it turns out, I mean, I mean, with the detectives and Johnny Ringo and the actor Liza Minnelli and a hundred guest shots on television, you know, I mean, what do people know me for? <laughs> <laughs> Lost in space. Okay. Which is, that's fine, you know. There's a lot of great stuff out now, too. They got the ki kits now of the uh, Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw those. They're really good. I've seen, you know. Yeah, the fire kits. Fire. And they got these uh, postcards now that are really good. They got great, great trading cards. They're coming out with little doll figures. Of course, our original doll figures uh, sell for uh, $10,000. Oh, right now? Yeah. Yeah. The original back came from wow. 65, if you can find them. Mom, the trading, in the trading cards, yeah, Christmas the trading present. cards are worth a fortune. The lunchbox, all those things that were originally came out are, are worth, you know, up in the thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, when I'm at shows signing things, people will come in with, they'll say, I've got your suit. I know it's not my suit, but I'll make it feel good. And I say, yeah, okay, <laughs> I sign it for him, you know. Oh, yeah, came in through with some boots. These are Guy Williams' boots where you sign them, you know. Mm -hmm. Guy's dead, you know. I felt kind of funny, but, you know. So I signed my name on Guy's boots, you know. He said, I just paid $2,000 for those boots. I said, okay. I said, I've got a pair of sneakers here. <laughs> if you're interested, you know, you have you about 12 and a half bucks. Yeah. Um, out of all the shows, what was your most memorable one? Like, what, what's the one when you first think of going back there and what, what show sticks out, like, immediately comes to mind? Of all the shows I've done, or just the Lost in Space? The oh, episodes Lost in space? of Lost in Space. And, uh, don't. Well, yeah, I always say this because it's true. You know, it's the uh, Anti-Matter Man was, was my favorite show because it gave me a chance to play a different side of me. You know, I could be Don West and I could be this evil guy. <laughs> It took you long enough getting back here. I had to wait for the right time. We've been prisoners here far too long. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. I like playing evil guys, you know. Playing evil guys, that's, that's good, you know. That's more fun. That was Although I, was, I, I watched that, and I, it was pretty cliche of a guy. You know, I had the beard and the bad eye, you know, and I was like, ah, you know, <laughs> give me him, you know. Classic bad guy. Probably a little overacting, but... But I like doing evil guys. Thing, you know, Lost in Space has influenced a lot of people. Uh, I think it definitely has. I, I meet people who are well, pilots, who are uh, in computer industries and so forth, uh, astrophysicists. A lot of people that were when they were little, they caught on to Lost in Space and it inspired them to get involved in some programs that have to do with space. This, you know. Yes. So, okay, give you one final question here. Okay, how do you feel about what? How did you feel about Matt LeBlanc? Like I, great, did really, yeah, 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 yeah. He was a terrific Don West. I thought he was. Uh, he was terrific. He, I thought he was he did, excellent. He, he did just what 
I would want you know myself to do if I were at that level and if I were doing that kind of work today. I think everybody in the movie who portrayed the characters, of course they had better lines and they had more rehearsal mm -hmm. and they had better things to work with, was, uh, was better than anyone in the original series except possibly for, uh, in fact they all were, I was going to say except possibly for Billy Mooney. Joe Jackson was really good mm -hmm. and maybe he was better than Billy. But I think that everybody was uh, better than, than we were. Of course, it's, it's you know what, why? Because it's like talking about, uh, you know, Michael Jordan and, 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 and Carl Malone and these guys as, mm -hmm. as basketball players, you know, right. and comparing, you know, they're better than Bob Cousy and Jerry West was mm -hmm. in those days. Mm -hmm. They just are. Then they That's try to come and act. And we've progressed, and, we've progressed to that, you know, and we have to give credit, we have to look at it and give credit. To answer your question, yeah, Matt LeBlanc, uh, I did a good job as Don West when I did it in those days. But uh, Matt LeBlanc uh, taught me. You know, he was able. You know, he he, he was better than I had ever been. Was it weird looking at him, like as your character? No, it was. I, it was no. weird looking at him looking at you. With think, your, wait, which one is Don? West? It wasn't for me because I was playing the general and I I let go of it. I don't hold on to Don West. I, the crew the crew I cut was you know, a nice yeah, touch nice. too. I you looked. Like, I didn't want to mess with you. I want to look older. I, I look <laughs> a little bit older in the film than I I guess I think I, than I do now. Uh, Should we tell you looked older? No, no, no. But I did look older, uh, a little bit older, I think, uh, because I was supposed to be William Hurt's father's friend, you know, mm -hmm. so I wanted age, we have a little age, so the crew cut was good. That was an, that was and, an excellent uh, job. Yeah, it worked, uh, worked out nicely. It was fun for the Lost in Space, you know, fans pointing out the well, camera. that's why I did it. Mm -hmm. I did it, you it know, I, and I, I tell the fans, you know, when they called me up and said, we want you to do a cameo, would you do a cameo? I said, of course I will. I didn't ask, I don't care about the money, I don't care about the part, I just will do it because I know the fans will want to see me, and you got to do that. Oh, yeah. The new global sedition knows the truth as well as we do. They're building their own hypergate. They hope to colonize Alpha Prime first. If they're successful, Western demons like you and I, Major West, will be left on Earth to die. Captain Daniels doesn't have the flu, does he, sir? Captain Daniels was murdered in his apartment last night. The flu story is a couple we've had the press. I flew with Mike. We should pulse blast their bases. A decisive strike now. My squadron is alert status and your rescue stunt was foolhardy, Major. I had a friend in trouble. So you endangered a $10 billion spacecraft. Disobeyed a direct order because of a friend. Yes, sir. I did. Sir. He'll do. Congratulations, Major. You're the new pilot of the Jupiter mission. Disappointed that Billy Moomy and Jonathan Harris had to have egos that would say to them, well, unless I get a better part, or if I, you know. Really? Or that jo was, well, Jonathan yeah, I was said, looking, I was wondering that. Yeah, Jonathan said, if I, don't, if, I, if I don't play Smith, I don't play anyone. Well, he's not going to play Smith. He's 82 years old, you know. Uh -huh. But, uh, and he could have played the part that Harris had, uh, not Harris, uh, Edward Fox had on the, on the, the dunes. Mm -hmm with uh, Gary yeah, Oldman, that character, that. Yes. that hires him and then comes in the holograph figure that makes him shock some. I remember that. That's the part that Jonathan mm -hmm. would have played. Would have I, I would have liked to have put Bill uh, Mummy as the future Will Robinson yeah, in the movie. That's what he wanted to do. I thought that would have been great. Yeah. I, I, had, I had no idea who the other guy was. Jed Harris, Richard so. Harris's son. I'll tell you why they didn't do that. The only reason they didn't do it, they wanted to do it, they felt that, and uh, he wanted to do it. They didn't do it because they felt that at that moment, people might it might break the moment of the film where they might say, oh my God, that's Billy. He was the original mm -hmm. you know, kid and break that moment because it was a pretty suspenseful moment. But I think most people feel the way you do. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, we're going to just, uh, we're going to wrap it up now. But Terrific. before we go, we like to give Lost in Space. Top, Top of the, the cheese. cheese. Starts William Hurt and uh, Gary Oldman, who did a beautiful right. job Matt as Dr. LeBlanc. Smith. Matt LeBlanc. Heather Graham. <laughs> Mimi Rogers. Chase Lacey <laughs> Shea Barry. And Mark Goddard. <laughs> and <clears throat> Mark Goddard. We'll swap to you. So, Top of the Cheese for Lost in Space. Top of the Cheese. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. This was a This was a real pleasure. Thanks, Mark. Thank Thanks for having me. Thanks, right. Scott. Thank you.